Yankee Stadium. You guys are watching on pinstripebowl.com. Today is game day, and we've reached the culmination of a fantastic week of new ever pinstripe bowl activities. Obviously, came from Stony Brook. You have an experience in the city. How have you been able to pass that along to the, the kids? And, and on your first couple months on the job, how has it been being within the bowl process now at football school? Well, so first of all, it was incredibly exciting for me, obviously, to be able to come to a bowl game. Uh, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. One, of course, was the opportunity to come back to New York. But second, as Bill said, the fact that the New York Yankees were involved, I think, made it special because I came to learn, um, as a New Yorker for 10 years, um, how important the Yankees are both to the fabric of the city, but also their reputation for quality. So all those things, I think, worked. And I, I haven't been disappointed. So I think the preparations that have been made, the things that have been put out for the students have been remarkable. Um, you know, Stony Brook had a great athletics program uh, for Division I, FCS. I mean, very good program, and I think will continue to do great things. But there is a difference in being part of the Big Ten, which of course is an extraordinary conference. So, so it's exciting for me to be part of that. Um, like uh, Dr. Hatch, I had a chance to be involved with the NCAA as well, so it's important to be able to deal with some of these issues firsthand. As I said before, I think this is a really unique opportunity. This particular bowl game was a unique opportunity. And I think for our student athletes, something again that they'll never forget. So it's experience I didn't really have quite the same in the Senate group. We had some exciting things when we went to the College World Series, for example, so it's great memories from those things. But I think it is very unique to have this opportunity. Again, I uh, mentioned your name and affiliation. Third row right behind. Hi, Chairman of Detroit News. This is also for Dr. Stanley. Obviously, Coach D'Antonio talks about the whole game to be a chance to provide momentum moving forward. Um, I believe Wisconsin was here last year and they're in the Rose Bowl this year. And do, you, do you share that with, with Coach Antonio? Are you confident the direction he has the program going right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I am excited about the future, and I think this is a great opportunity. Obviously, we have a tough opponent. Wake Forest had a great season, so it's going to be difficult. I think it's reason in these games. But I think you know, Coach Antonio has really an incredible track record, as you know, the winningest coach in MSU history. So I am pleased with the direction of the program overall. Not the season was not what we held for him last year. There's no question, but I think he is the right person to continue. Any other questions? If anyone, does anyone have any final comments? Excellent. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, good luck today. Uh, again, kick off at 3:20 p.m. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. In the recent past, Michigan State's been fortunate to to play in, in San Francisco and San Diego and Dallas, uh, uh, Los Angeles and, and other locations. But being here in New York is so special because it's just simply a one-of-a-kind destination. Uh, the Yankees are a one-of-a-kind organization. And uh, you know, the experiences that our young men were able to have, uh, in addition to all the activities, simply walking the streets and seeing people of so many different nationalities and ethnicities uh, so many different uh, kinds of, uh, of businesses and activities, uh, the, the, the sort of uh, madness of, of Times Square uh, in the evening. Uh, and I happened to run into a, a few of our players uh, down in Times Square, and just, just looking around and wondering about the electric. <coughs> and uh, it was, I think it's, it's, it's just been an extraordinary one-of-a-kind experience in the only way, uh, in, in the way that, that only uh, uh, New York City can provide. Well, thank you so much. I just on, on behalf of uh, Michigan State University, I want to thank the Steinbrenner family, uh, President Levine, uh, Mark Holtzman, John Mosley, uh, Emily, the whole team has provided Michigan State with just an extraordinary experience here. We've had a, a, a wonderful time, and as I said at uh, in our, in our earlier press conference, uh, our goal at MSU Athletics really is to pro provide our students with excellent opportunities and not only on the field of play, but in the classroom, and to set them up to, to, to have great opportunities in their life's pursuit. And having an experience here in New York City on a world stage, uh, really in the classroom of life, has been extraordinary for our young men. Uh, we, we figure that probably 75-80% of them had never been to the city before, and so to have the experiences that, that Randy referenced, uh, just to be able to walk around and, and see the sights uh, uh, has, has just simply been wonderful for, for our young men. And uh, couldn't thank the, uh, the Yankee organization enough for all they've, all they've done for us. So thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Dr. Stanley? Well, thank you, Michael. And uh, 
on behalf of Michigan State University, MSU Athletics, and really the entire Spartan community. I want to thank the New York Pinstripe Bowl and the New York Yankees organization for both their hospitality and for showing our student athletes all that New York and New Yorkers um, have to offer. As a former New Yorker myself, I just moved to Michigan State in August. I can tell you firsthand that the city has no shortage of experiences, rich history, and culture. And I'm so glad that our student athletes, most of whom, as Bill said, have never been to the city before, got to experience its wonders for themselves. In MSU, one of the things we strive to do is provide our students with life-changing opportunities in and outside of the classroom. This week, New Era and the Yankees organization helped us stay true to that commitment. From the New York Stock Exchange to attending the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, visiting the 9-11 Memorial and Museum of Young World Observatory, I really appreciate these organizations for providing our student athletes and traveling party with the experiences that will truly last a lifetime. So again, I want to thank the Yankees, New Year Pinstripe Bowl, and the host and advisory committees. It's an honor to participate in the 10th edition of this bowl game, and we look forward to a spirited match with our friends in the <coughs> Thank you, Dr. Stanley. Let's kick it over to Wake Forest. John? Thank you very much, and let me echo the very kind words of our colleagues, uh, Bill and Dr. Stanley, for the Yankees organization, uh, and Randy, Lon, Mark, Emily, Johnny, and everybody that has made this a very memorable trip. Uh, this is really a graduation trip reward uh, for 14 of our players who will compete in today's uh, game who've already finished their degrees. Uh, with another eight seniors who will complete their degrees uh, in May. So we'll have 100% of this uh, squad uh, who will earn their degrees from Wake Forest uh, uh, this year of our seniors. Uh, those seniors have participated in four straight winning seasons, four straight bowl games, uh, really uh, incredible accomplishments under uh, Coach Clausen's uh, leadership. I want to particularly thank uh, our president, Nathan Hatch, uh, who has uh, consistently stood by the right things about college athletics from his time. Uh, as the chair of the NCAA Board of Directors, where he uh, led the, uh, the, uh, the split into the autonomy conferences and the implementation of the student-athlete stipend, uh, which these student-athletes all enjoy, uh, thanks to President Hatch's leadership of the board uh, those years. Again, we thank the Yankees for the incredible hospitality, the once-in-a-lifetime memories that our student-athletes have received uh, this week. Thank you, John. Dr. Hatch? We at Wake Forest are just delighted to be here. What an honor to be associated with the Steinbrenners and the Yankee organizations. First class in every way. We're deeply grateful for your hospitality. You know, New York is, plays an increasing role in the life of Wake Forest. We were once uh, principally a southern institution, but today uh, a third of our students, current students, uh, come from within driving distance of New York, and 65% of our graduates or within driving distance. So it's, this is a great event for the Wake Forest family. Finally, say, let me say what an honor it is to be here with Michigan State. It's been a delight to meet uh, Dr. Stanley. Uh, and to have two uh, institutions which believe in scholar-athletes, believe in the model of, of athletics that way. We were riding on the subway here and uh, talking to a Michigan State parents' family. Uh, and I said, what is your son going to do? He's a senior. He already has a good job in finance with a national organization. And that's what we're about. That is training student athletes to be successful, not only in athletics, uh, but in life. And we're just delighted to be here.